Manohar H., also known as a pocket Hercules, was born on March 17, 1912, in Bengal, India. He became famous as one of the oldest and most successful bodybuilders of his time. Despite having a small and lean constitution, Manohar developed an interest in physical activity and bodybuilding in his youth. His bodybuilding career began in the mid-1940s, and he went on to win numerous competitions. His greatest achievement came when he won the gold medal at the Asian Bodybuilding Championships in 1951 in the bantamweight category, bringing him international recognition. He represented India in international bodybuilding competitions, continuing to compete for many years. Even after retiring from professional bodybuilding, Manohar H. remained dedicated to a healthy lifestyle and fitness. He passed away on June 5, 2016, at the age of 104. His life journey and contributions to the world of bodybuilding made him a legend in the sport, and his resilience and commitment to a healthy lifestyle continue to inspire many. Richard Sandrak, known as a Little Hercules, was born in Ukraine in 1992, and his family moved to the United States when he was only two years old. Richard's father, Yuri Foydik, was a boxer and fitness trainer who started training his son in bodybuilding from a very early age. Richard gained public attention for his remarkable physical achievements at a young age. He began participating in bodybuilding competitions at the age of eight and won several titles in his age group. At that time, his physique and muscle development were impressive, especially considering his young age. However, his story also sparked debates and discussions in society. Some expressed concerns about the impact of intensive training and strict diets on a child's health. In the subsequent years, Richard faded from the public eye, and there is limited information about his further career in bodybuilding or other fitness-related pursuits. It's essential to highlight that the topic of children participating in such activities often raises questions about the balance between physical health and psychosocial development. The focus on the safety and health of children should always be paramount.